When it comes to your health, are you seeing the check engine light come on more than normal? It's time to get under the hood. It's time for Ask the Doctor with Dr. Michael Lang. Sponsored by Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins. Dr. Lang is a board-certified optometric physician and certified nutrition specialist, helping people see and feel better through proper nutrition for 25 years. The doctor is in. Call now with your questions at 877-969-8600. That's 877-969-8600. Here's your host, Dr. Michael Lang. All righty. Good morning and welcome to Ask the Doctor. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here in Tampa Bay area. I drove in in the convertible this morning. That's why my hair is a little bit messed up. <laughs> Got a little adrenaline rush, uh, but I made it. All right. For those of you that are new to the program, I'm Dr. Michael Lang. I'm a board certified optometric physician. I'm also a certified nutritional specialist. I founded Lang Eye Care and Associates March 15th of 1993 the Lang Eye Institute uh, in November of 2006, Fortify Vitamins about 20 years ago as well. And I am the lead formulator of the Fortify Vitamin Company. This is a live call-in show. It's dedicated to you, the listener and the viewer. So no matter how simple or complicated your question is, we'll try to answer it to the best of our abilities. When I say we, it is Dr. Susan Summerton, who is my co-host this morning. Dr. Summerton is not only a board certified optometric physician, she's a certified nutritional specialist also. She's a fellow in the Ocular Wellness and Nutrition Society, and she's a diplomat in the American Clinical Board of uh, Nutrition. And she is the only eye doctor in the state of Florida with all those initials. And she hails from the Lang Eye Institute with me in the villages. So if you wanna see Dr. Susan Summerton, uh, contact the Lang Eye Institute in the villages, and she'll be happy to see you Monday through Friday. As a matter of fact, we got a lot to talk about today. Uh, Good morning, Susan. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day here in the villages as well. Looking forward to a great show and looking forward to answering those callers' questions. Absolutely. So pick up the phones and give us a call at 1-877-969-8600. That's 1-877-969-8600. We won't be live uh, next week. So we're going to the Florida Fit Expo. Dr. Uh, Richard Hall and the Fortify Vitamin team and myself, we're heading to Orlando to the Florida. It used to be called the Florida Fit Expo, but they've joined forces with the Sheru Classic to form the Sheru Classic Sports Festival. It's huge. It's on September 16th. That's next Saturday at the Orange County Convention Center. So come on out and check us out. If you're looking at me right now, I've lost a little weight. Uh, I've lost 11 pounds. I'm on Dr. Mike's uh, second week of my boot camp. And I got to tell you, for breakfast, I've been having, or lunch, or supper, I mix it up. But I'm holding up in front of you guys and gals right now a bag of our Fortify grass-fed whey isolate and a little container of our organic blue-green superfood. So on Monday, I have it for breakfast. Tuesday, I have it for lunch. Wednesday, I have it for supper. And then, you know, vice versa. And then I have uh, three to four small meals consistent with the Lang survival diet. So remember, weight loss is fairly simple if you're a good mathematician. You got to burn more calories and consume less calories. So eat a little smaller meals, all right, frequently during the day. Exercise a little bit more. Remember, 3,500 calories is one pound. But if you want to lose that weight, I do recommend our organic blue green superfood. It's FODMAP free. It's all certified organic. It's gluten free. And we're going to talk about this in a minute. Uh, but it also is very low in PPO. That's polyphenol oxidase activity. And we're going to talk about how bananas may not be the best thing in the world to use in your smoothie. And I'm going to let Dr. Summerton address that in just a minute. But anyway, so uh, organic blue green superfood combined with a, a whey protein or with our super protein. That's a complete meal replacement. And so I got one more week. You know, I took two weeks off at the Lang Eye Institute. So you got to see Dr. Caputi or Dr. Summerton. You can't see me for another probably 12 more days, 10 more days, because I won't be back till the following Tuesday. And I will be at the Fortify Nutrition Center today from one to three. I'll be there for two hours. Fortify Nutrition Center in Clearwater. Come on out and pick my brain from one to three. We're going to do a taste test on the new, what I'm holding up, Fortify Rejuvenate samples. 
We've got it in lemon cream and we got it in French vanilla. And when you, we also have it in no flavor. And we're going to do some taste tests on our new Pina Colada Fit Pro and the new Fruit Punch Fit Pro. So we got some taste testing. As a matter of fact, after the show, uh, some of the people here at the radio station, I'm going to let them taste it and give me their opinion. I think we've nailed the test on that. And I got a uh, shout out to my boys from the uh, NutriCap lab, the NutriCap Nutrition uh, uh, Manufacturing Group up there in Atlanta. They flew down and took me to dinner the other night and hung out at the house. And we did some testing some solubility testing and some sample of taste testing, and we fine-tuned and tweaked it. So NutriCaps has done a bang-up job, and we're, we're happy to be with them on that team. It's going to be a team effort to take it to the next level. All right, um, the BOGO on the Fortify Super Omega is essentially over. We got two cases left. So if you want that BOGO, you better go to fortify.com right now or call Arlene at the Fortify Nutrition Center or come by there today. That's buy one, get one free on the Super Omega that expires November 1st. Folks, they don't expire. Take advantage of that. Buy one, get one free. Uh, it's an amazing deal. There's 60 in each quantity. We also have a new 180-count Super Omega. So if you missed the deal, 180-count of the Super Omega for only $68 is the best deal on the market right now. So remember, Fortify Super Omega now has a 180-count for $68. That's amazing. Nobody on Amazon on the internet for reestrified triglyceride form Norwegian developed omega-3 has a deal that good. Nobody. I purposely searched it and gave you the best deal out there. You know, we got to have that hook, right? <laughs> All right. We're almost getting ready to take the next call here. Um, I want to mention there's another BOGO we got going on right now, Fortify Macula Defense. So the zinc-free Fortify Macula Defense is just about out. We got two cases left of that on the BOGO. We still got plenty of cases left on the Fortify Macula Defense. Folks, this is a great multivitamin as well as an I vitamin. You take one a day for a multivitamin unless you're 200 pounds or above. Then you take two a day. If you have macular degeneration, you do take three a day. So that's called Fortify Macula Defense. It's a BOGO. When you go to fortify.com, fortify.com, you order, order the Fortify Macula Defense, you automatically get another one. If you order two, you get it two free. So think about that. All right, phone lines are open, 1-877-969-8600. All right, let's go to the phones. Bob, good morning. Thanks for holding. Well, good morning, Dr. Lang and Dr. Susan. Good morning. Have you had a, have you had a good week, Dr. Lang? I've had an amazing week. You know, it's been a, a week of, uh, let me tell you, I wake up in the morning, I go biking for an hour, then I swim for an hour, then I hit the gym for an hour, and uh, I've been getting plenty of sun. I actually went to my lake uh, house out there and, and mowed the lawn for about five or six hours, two days in the sun. I got to tell you, that was quite a bit of a workout, you know, and, you know, I like doing those things, you know, grounding, grounding on Mother Earth, you know, it's, it's all good, all good. I got another week of doing it, though. <laughs> all right uh, i have a couple social things to begin with number one how did mckenzie do last week with their volleyball tournament Ah, uh, she did amazing uh they and they ended up winning the tournament and then they played uh in sarasota last night uh i wasn't able to go um tammy went and um they won that that tournament in sarasota as well and mckenzie did amazingly well had a lot of kills only two mistakes so I'm very proud of Mackenzie, especially, you know, a lot of people don't realize, but uh, a couple of years back, I mean, she literally was a world-class volleyball player, indoor and beach volleyball player. And a couple of years ago, all of a sudden she developed lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, mixed connective tissue disease, and Raynaud's phenomenon. All, all of a sudden, she had to take almost a year off of playing volleyball. You know, I got her on our next-gen curcumin. I got her on our Super Omega-3 Max. And after six months of being on that, her blood chemistry is normalized, even though she is taking some medications, very few medications. I and mean, she's on Plaquenil, which is hydroxychloroquine, a very safe drug. Uh, we're ob obviously monitoring her retina. And she's back to playing volleyball, but she's not playing indoor club and beach volleyball at one time. She's only playing one at a time. But, you know, her career for, uh, you know, a scholarship, in college is probably she's probably not going that route she's going to go for an academic scholarship and 
she wants to go into medical school, maybe sports medicine. But who knows? Maybe I'll get her to become an ophthalmologist. We'll see. But she's got a, a, a very you know, bright future. She's applying to Vanderbilt. I'm wearing a Vanderbilt uh, sweatshirt right now. Uh, her grades are amazing. So she's going to apply to Vanderbilt. We'll see what happens. If she doesn't get in Vanderbilt, she's going to probably going to Wake Forest or Tulane. Uh, you never know. But University of Miami, she likes that. And they got a good program there. Even Auburn has a pretty good pre-med program. So uh, we're coming up in November, you know, the end of November. We'll have a lot more to say because we'll know where she's going to college. Thanks for asking, Bob. Well, you're very welcome. Uh, one final thing before I get my question. Happy birthday next Friday, Dr. Lang. Oh, my God. September 15th. Wow. Time's a-flying. Holding strong at six. Well, you're having a good time. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the reasons right. I'm on Dr. Mike's uh, boot camp experience. I got to reverse that aging. That's another reason I'm holding up this little canister of what we call Fortify Rejuvenate. The science behind the nutrients that we're using, the tripeptides, not peptides, the hyaluronic acid, the dermaval, the vitamins that are in this, the, the ceramides. You know, the studies indicate that it can help minimize fine lines and wrinkles and help joint health and bone health dramatically. So we're putting something together that's going to revolutionize the beauty industry and the anti-aging industry called Fortify Rejuvenate, and we're working on the taste right now. Very good. All right. Now, for my question for the day, probably a very easy one for both of you. Um, years ago, when I first started my supplement regimen, I was taking um, alpha lipoic acid uh, along with other things, and then... Um, Oh, a couple, two, three years ago, maybe at this point, it was upgraded to our laporic acid. So my question simply is, how many laporic acids are there, and what's the difference between them? Yeah, that's a great question. And so there's studies out there trying to prove that our lipoic acid is a little bit more bioavailable and that you can take less concentration for it. You know, um, alpha lipoic acid has been the gold standard for years. It's called ALA. And that's pretty amazing supplement, especially when you combine it with acetyl L-carnitine and CoQ10. Those really help support mitochondrial health, okay? Uh, these are antioxidants, if you will. And remember, the mitochondria is the organelle that's responsible for ATP production. That's adenosine triphosphate. And so uh, we use that combination in our Fortify Macula Defense that we have the BOGO on. We have the ratio that's been studied at, at Berkeley uh, discussing alpha lipoic acid and not our lipoic acid, alpha lipoic acid, acetyl L-carnitine and CoQ10. And then when you add some things like astaxanthin to the mix, like our Fortify Focus, it's kind of the quadruple whammy at supporting mitochondria health. Creatine also does that. Uh, D-ribose does that. In our new, P our new Fortify Fit Pro, we're also adding something called peak ATP. And believe it or not, it is the exact chemical structure of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So you don't even have to break it down. So, you know, alpha lipoic acid has a lot of benefits. As far as R lipoic and alpha lipoic acid, I don't have any exact uh, wording for you or exact uh, notations to tell you the differences. Now, Dr. Summerton might know a little bit more about that because she's kind of kind of an expert in this arena as well. Susan, you want to chime in on this? Well, alpha lipoic acid is that we actually make it in our bodies, um, which is also found naturally in foods. So a lot of it is just combining what you, not only the form, but combining what you eat it with. It acts as that antioxidant. There's so many antioxidants in our bodies. And that's what neutralizes those free radicals. We're talking about the aging and the free radicals cause the aging. So it's just another part of all those antioxidants to add into your diet but be aware that we do make it it's that naturally occurring kind of fatty acid in our bodies so you combine it you really don't want to supplement it by itself but combine it like we do in that macula defense um, to help the aging of the eye and that's why it's so important then we talk about this all the time bob is to eat all the fruits and vegetables daily because you know, God made a pretty good body as long as we give it the right fuel, okay? And there are definitive studies out there that have proven that people who eat more fruits and vegetables daily live longer with less disease. 
All right. And so we want to eat a minimum of five servings of fruits and vegetables a day um, at a minimum. All right. I say shoot for 10 to 13 fruits and vegetables a day. As a matter of fact, there's a study uh, just in March, I think of 2021 or 2022, the Journal of Circulation, well, they had 2 million people, uh, 2 million people they studied, and they compared those people that ate just two servings of fruits and vegetables a day to those that ate five servings, just three more servings a day. And the rate of disease, the risk of dying from cancer, heart disease, respiratory disease, Drop significantly. As a matter of fact, respiratory disease dropped by 35% by eating just three servings more fruits and vegetables a day. That's five servings. So a minimum of five servings of fruits and vegetables a day is ideal. Now, remember, our organic blue-green superfood that I use in this uh, diet plan I'm on is a combination of pineapple, spirulina, wheatgrass juice, barley grass juice, blueberry kale, broccoli, six adaptogenic organic mushrooms, enzymes, and probiotics. So this is, this is some of the fuel the human body needs. It's not all of the fuel. You can't live on supplements. You got to eat, uh, eat the foods. And remember also, alpha-lipoic acid has some interesting aspects on neuropathy as well. So a lot of us out there have neuropathies, peripheral neuropathies, maybe from being overweight or from diabetes or from other diseases. And alpha-lipoic acid has some of that. But like Dr. Summerton mentioned, you don't want to take the supplement just by itself. You want to take it certainly with food, and it works in concert with CoQ10 and acetyl L-carnitine. Hope that answers a little bit of that, Bob. Well, I had my tape recorder going on this one. Thank you so much, doctors. Appreciate it. Lord willing, we'll talk to you in two weeks since you won't be on next week. That's right, Bob. Okay, you have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, you're listening to Ask the Doctors, Dr. Susan Summerton of the Lang Eye Institute, and of course, myself, Dr. Michael Lang. Give us a call at 1 969 8600. That's 1 969 8600. When I started talking about this organic blue green superfood, uh, this is naturally flavored with organic stevia, uh, has very low sugar, only 20 calories, essentially no carbs. Um, Remember, I told you it was FODMAP free. That's F-O-D-M-A-P. That means it doesn't have any of the fruits and vegetables that cause bloating, okay? If you have IBS, you can take this, all right? It's also certified organic. And then what I was mentioning, something new that we haven't really talked about a lot is it's very low in PPO. PPO means polyphenol oxidase. And that's kind of an enzyme that causes fruits and vegetables to go kind of rancid very quickly. Like when you cut a banana and just leave it out, it turns black very quickly. An apple turns black very quickly. That's this oxidation. This is polyphenol oxidase that starts to occur. But um, there is something we're going to talk about. I'm going to let Doc, Dr. Uh, Summerton talk about this. A lot of you are using bananas in your smoothies with your berries. So you're using strawberries and blueberries and, and raspberries and putting a banana in there. And when you're eating your fruit salad, they always have bananas in there too. That may not be the best thing to do. Is that correct, Dr. Summerton? Right. This is a new study I wasn't aware of. And just like we're constantly reading and investigating new things, it's actually my husband that alerted me to this study of bananas with the high content of that polyphenol oxidase you're talking about. And you, like you said, that's why they turn brown um, because of that enzyme. But we've also figured out that that enzyme actually reduces the absorption of our flavanols. And that all that good things that are in like berries and grapes and even chocolate, um, that's good for your heart, good for your brain. And we want to increase those levels. And that's a lot why we drink these smoothies is so that we can get a high concentration of those. But in this one particular study, they mix with the berries and the banana in their smoothie. Of course, that nice whey protein powder is always good to add too. But when you put the banana in with it, it was an 84% lower level of those flavanols in their bodies, which that's very significant and disappointing in the fact that you're not getting the benefit of those berries. So now we're leaning towards you separate it if you're going to have that banana, don't have it with your banana, uh, with your berries. And also in the study, they checked other fruits for it. Um, 
And the ones that were actually lower were things like pineapple, oranges, mango, yogurt is lower. Those are good things to mix in with your smoothies when you add those good berries or chocolate or grapes with it too. So it's more of those food combinations we're aware of now and how you can get kind of the maximum benefit for what you're doing, making those good smoothies. Absolutely. And remember, all those colorful fruits and vegetables, those are plant pigments are what these flavonoids are. That's kind of short for bioflavonoids, all right? So the banana has the highest amount of this PPO activity, but believe it or not, beet greens. Beet greens are very high. Apples are pretty high. Pears and beets are pretty high, too. So uh, don't eat bananas, beet greens, apples, pears, and beets with berries, okay? Now, like Dr. Summerton mentioned, pineapple, kale, mango, spirulina, essentially none. I mean, pineapple, kale, and spirulina have almost no PPO activity at all. And those are the three of the biggest things that are in our organic blue-green superfood. Fortify Organic Blue-Green Superfood has a ton of the pineapple, a ton of the kale, a ton of the spirulina, plus the other things that we mentioned. So remember... Um, our organic blue green superfood we've taken all that into consideration there's a lot of superfoods out there a lot of fruits and vegetable powdered fruits and vegetables you can buy in capsules and and powders that they just take everything but the kitchen sink and throw it all in there you know everything they're not taking this into consideration remember ours are gluten free all certified organic fodmap free and ppo free i think we're probably the only ones out there that are doing all that into our organic blue green superfood. And it's like $35, you know? Um, and if this was marked up the way most of these companies mark their products up, this would be well over $200, okay? For the amount and what you're getting. So think about that if you'd want uh, to get those additional fruits and vegetables that aren't gonna aggravate your system and aren't gonna block the absorption of the blueberries and the strawberries, because uh, we have a lot of blueberries and strawberries in the superfood as well. Think about Fortify Organic Blue Green Superfood. So. If you learned anything on this show today, don't eat your bananas. Don't eat your beet greens, apples, pears, or beets with your blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, or any type of berry, okay? Because it's going to uh, probably hinder the flavonoid absorption. Also, I've always preached no carrots and no sweet potatoes when you're eating your greens or your bell peppers. Because those are high in beta carotene. They'll block the absorption of the xanthophils that are good for your eyes and your brain lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin. And I'd take it to the next level. No carrots or sweet potatoes when you eat wild Alaskan salmon either. And if you're going to eat spinach, almonds, or, or beets, eat a little goat cheese or have some goat milk with it. That'll actually counteract the oxalates that are in there so you don't get kidney stones. The things you learn on Ask the Doctor. All right, we're going back to the phones. Let's go to Dave in Ocali. He's been waiting patiently. Dave, good morning. Welcome to the program. Yeah, uh, good morning. I was wondering if Dr. Lang, if you would address uh, the concerns of uh, using whey protein and cardiac problems. A friend of mine was telling me not to to stop taking the whey because he said it was bad for your heart. Huh. Now, I've heard just about everything, but I've never heard that whey protein is bad for the heart. All right. Now, some people will say dairy is bad for the heart. Okay. And so whey is from dairy, okay? However, it, here's a good book. I want you to get this book. It's called The Devil in the Milk, okay? Uh, you, can, you can read it online, The Devil in the Milk. And it talks about how milk, traditional milk from Guernsey cows, black and white cows, have gone through a genetic mutation literally thousands of years ago, and it's caused the beta casein protein not to be an A2 casein, a, it's an, a beta A1 casein, that's affiliated with leaky gut, diabetes, cancer, and autism. And also the lactose that's in milk caused people to have strange reactions. Remember, milk has certain fats in it that some people may say can cause, you know, hardening of the arteries, atherosclerosis, and indirectly be bad for your heart. I don't know if that's been proven, really. I really don't. And that's why skim milk came out to reduce the milk fat. But remember, if it's milk from grass-fed cows, or goats, all right? Goats have never gone through that genetic mutation, so they all have an A2 beta casein. And grass-fed cows, the fat, even if it's whole milk, is actually high in omega-3, not omega-6, okay? 
So the bad rap on milk in the heart is a lot of this milk that's not grass-fed, the majority of it, just like grass-fed beef, is very high in pro-inflammatory omega-6 that is definitely bad for the heart. But you could say just about everything you eat in the SAD diet, S-A-D diet, uh, that's the standard American diet, is bad for the heart. So I don't think whey protein is bad for the heart at all, all right? It's the best, most bioavailable form of protein. I have many friends that are cardiologists that are taking our whey protein isolate. If you want to go to the next level, the bag I'm holding up is called grass-fed whey isolate. The isolate removes all the fat. So remember, a whey protein concentrate still has the fat in it, but as long as it's grass-fed, that fat is where all the immunoglobulins are, the things that are good for your immune system. So, But if you're concerned for heart health, then I would go with an isolate, a whey protein isolate that's grass-fed, and not ion exchange. That means it's gone through acid wash. So make sure it says non-denatured or undenatured. And I think you'll be fine. If you can find any evidence of that, and I'm gonna research that more and we'll chime in in two weeks on it, but I don't know of any clinical studies about whey being bad for your heart. Milk or dairy, on the other hand, you know, there is, there is some question there. I see. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, Dave. Thanks for the call. You have a good one. I haven't heard of any heart conditions either, unless possibly there's an allergic reaction going on, or even some of these bodybuilding formulas that they use with some synthetic ingredients. Oh, Maybe yeah. there was some confusion there of affecting the heart, but whey protein either. I It helps even cholesterol levels too. Right. And it helps testosterone in men, but it doesn't elevate testosterone in women. Uh, there's even some things out there that talk about anti-carcinogenic effects for whey protein. But the good thing about whey protein is it is very high in a covalent bonded cysteine. It's one of the best ways at stimulating glutathione. Back in the day when we were doing macular degeneration blood studies and we were developing the Fortify Macula Defense, we found out that the lion's share of my patients that had macular degeneration had three deficiencies. They had deficiencies in B12, vitamin D3, or vitamin D, and glutathione. So we tried L-glutathione, it didn't do anything. And we tried N-acetylcysteine, it helped the glutathione levels a little bit, but we had to take two, such high levels to get it to boost up that it was causing patients to have some irritable bowel symptoms. But when we put them on whey protein, a non-denatured whey protein, their glutathione levels went up. So remember, glutathione is the master antioxidant in their body. And also remember, the heart is a major muscle so we need protein to feed the muscle. So what better for the heart than a non-denatured, grass-fed uh, whey protein isolate uh, that's the fastest acting protein on the planet? So I wouldn't worry about it. Um, obviously, consult with your cardiologist uh, regarding things like this, and I would follow their recommendations. But I don't think there's any cardiologist that's going to say a grass-fed Whey protein isolate that's non-denatured is going to be bad for you. But Dr. Susan brings up a good point. The majority of whey proteins you buy out there, if you look at the ingredients, there's a whole list of chemicals, and I'm not going to mention the names, but artificial flavors, artificial sweeteners, all sorts of weird uh, complex ingredients to make flow agents and to make it so it doesn't stick together and doesn't clump. A lot of synthetic garbage in it. So you got to be very careful. When you look at our ingredient profile on this whey protein isolate, it has grass-fed whey protein and non-GMO sunflower lecithin. That's it. Only two things in it. So it's all about keeping you healthy. Like I said, God made a pretty good body. As long as it's given the right fuel, it can perform at optimal levels. And I like to think the stuff that we develop at Fortify is going in the right direction of the right fuel. All right, let's go back to the phones. 1-877-969-8600. You're listening to Ask the Doctors. Dr. Michael Lang and Dr. Susan Summerton of the Lang Eye Institute. Give us a call. 1-877-969-8600. All right. Um, inflammation is a big thing out there. I mean, inflammation is a root cause of heart disease, all right? Eye disease, you know, uh, collagen vascular diseases, autoimmune diseases. I mean, neurodegeneration, neuroinflammation, so brain problems. And so we talk about things to lower inflammation. You know, certainly diet is very important. That's why I developed the Lang survival diet. Uh, and we hear about curcumin all the time. 
Curcumin is a great supplement it's developed from the turmeric root. And so it's natural anti-inflammatory. But the problem with most turmeric is kind of like most omega-3 fish oils that you buy over the counter. Not very bioavailable, uh, doesn't absorb well, and uh, you don't know where the stuff's coming from, all right? So we developed one last year called Next Gen Curcumin, fueled by curcugin. It has curcugin in it. Now, remember, we have a new gummy with it. So the gummy is now available. The gummy was on back order for a long time, but we have the Next Gen Curcumin in a capsule, and we have it in a gummy now. Now, curcugin is an enhanced bioavailability of a, of a curcumin. It's at 39 to 52 times, depending on what studies you're looking at, uh, more bioavailable than traditional 95% curcumin. So 52% more bioavailable than, than the traditional curcumin, like the BCM95 that's out there, which was sort of the gold standard, all right? And 31 times more uh, percent of the THC. That's a curcumin uh, metabolite, all right? It's not pot, all right? Um, and also, curcumin is one of the cleanest curcumins on the market. There is no, once again, bringing up what Dr. Summerton mentioned, there is no emulsifiers. There is no systemic enhancers. Uh, there's no stabilizers. There's no soy. There's no bioprim. There's no black pepper extract, things that can aggravate uh, the gut lining if you use it too long. It's all natural. This curcugin has some amazing studies talking about exercise recovery, joint support, pain reduction, mood, mood and digestive health. So there's a lot of great studies on curcugin. And it's the first and I think the only food grade oleoresin curcumin on the market where they use the entire turmeric root. They're using the turmeric essential oils, the polysaccharides, the polar resins, all of that. And that makes it absorb much more readily. So check it out on the, on the website at fortify.com. Also, the phone number for Fortify Vitamins, I'm going to give it to you twice, is 866-503-9746. That's 866 866- Five zero three nine seven four six. That's fortify.com. So check it out. If you've been uh, thinking about buying a turmeric or, or a curcumin and you want one that's based on the latest science and the latest technology, the newest, uh, go for curcugin, whether it's the fortify brand or not, that's up to you. All right, uh, let's go to the phones. We're really getting loaded up. So we got to start taking some calls now. Enough chit chatting. Let's see who's first. Uh, let's go to Bryce and Bradenton. Bryce, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning, Doc. Yeah, how long the, time. And uh, how the heck welcome, are you, Doctor Semerton? Doing good well. <laughs> Pro Hi. bodybuilder Bryce. When's your next big big contest? <laughs> yeah, as, um, I'm a PCA pro. You know, and the next show is actually the national championship in uh, November, November fourth. Awesome. Are you going to so, be ready for it? Absolutely. I've. Uh, my question and what I have to kind of input today is, of course, related to my whole experience these last eight, 10 months. Um, yeah, I'll be ready. I'm eight weeks out or so and, you know, put on a lot of muscle in this off season. And uh, I credit that to my, my protein consumption. You know, I just, just saw you talking about the denatured, undenatured whey. And, you know, I include whey in my, in my diet, of course, but I made a really, a really, strong effort to consume my protein from from you know whole food sources primarily and then the shakes just to get over the over the hump right um so before i started my prep i had my my blood work test like all right let's see let's see you know what's going on after all this food consumption i you know i picked up a smoker last year actually up in the villages up your way there was a a pellet smoker that was for sale in marketplace and i was like i want to smoke barbecue like I grew up in Kansas City, you know. Right. Yeah. I had a taste for barbecue at a young age, <laughs> and I wanted to learn, you know. And I have some buddies here at the gym. I my gym Asgard Training Center uh, here in Bradenton, and I I wanted to get into the barbecue business <laughs> for myself. So I ate a lot of a lot of brisket, probably more brisket than anyone would ever recommend consuming over like an eight to ten month period. Right. Brisket, you know, the pulled pork. I would occasionally do some chicken thighs and chicken breasts, but it was very beef forward you know i was looking at performance and when i consume that beef the natural current creatine the b vitamins just you know the goodie the, the list of nutrients is endless when you're right. looking at 
And I I generally get like the grass fed brisket. Excellent. A couple more dollars a pound, you know. But I consumed a lot of it, and of course I get my blood work back, and I expected there to be some changes in the cholesterol. I've never had a cholesterol issue. You know, HDL was always in range. LDL was always in range. HDL was beautiful, perfect. Of course, the LDL was was high. It wasn't over 200 high, but it was it was up there, up you know, over 150. And I was calling to kind of see if you or Dr. Summerson can touch on that, because I've read and, and heard discussion about, you know, used to be so solely focused on, they'd really look at the LDL. If it's up, it was like, hey, let's get you on a statin. You know, and then it kind of pivoted to, you know, if, it, if it's in balance relative to the HDL, that, that's what we're looking for, really the ratio. And then now we look at total cholesterol, and then there's subsets of cholesterol, I guess, I'm aware of. And, right. and now they're going, well, maybe cholesterol isn't the best indicator like we thought it was. You know, LDL isn't necessarily bad. It was, it's always been demonized as if, if it's high, it's bad. You know, we got to get rid of that. We got to get you on the statin. We got to, you know, and they don't even look at dietary. They just go right, right to the drug. And, um, and I was wondering if you could touch on that or, you Absolutely. know, is there any other testing that should be done that, that might be a, I know it's an indicator, you know, the LDL and it's, it gets my eyes looking, but I want to see what's the real story. Is that all bad or <laughs> is that just well, directly I, due to my consumption? You know, I'll chime in. So I would be very yeah. careful about, you know, talking with your physician about any statin drugs because you being an athlete, a pro athlete, you got to be careful. Statin drugs can, you know, cause a lot of cramping and interfere with your, your workouts. So obviously the ratio oh, yeah. is very important. A high HDL is protective, okay? So you can have elevated sure. cholesterol if the HDL is very high, that's protective in nature, all right? And so mm-hmm. you have to also look at the, whether they're, they're hard and, and crystallized or if they're fluffy, there's different types of cholesterol. And so they can run that type of panel on it as well. But it's more than just cholesterol. Okay. They got to look at C-reactive protein. They got to look at mm-hmm. homocysteine, triglycerides, you know, all of that as well. Uh, and you know, a lot of doctors in the past, like you said, if the cholesterol is over 200, 220, they start you on a statin drug. Well, I got to tell you, my mom's cholesterol has been 350 to 360 for the last 30 years. Okay. Every time my dad started on a statin drug or her physician started on a statin drug, you know, she's very uh, avid tennis player. She couldn't play tennis. I mean, her cramping is so bad. They tried every statin drug in the book. And she's yep. 96, still plays tennis, going <laughs> strong, knock on wood, never been in the hospital except when she had me and my brother. And that's it, you okay. know, and her cholesterol has been, you know, 350, 360. And now all of her other uh-huh. blood chemistries are normal. So I think if you're eating plenty of organically raised fruits and vegetables, you're exercising, your body fat is low and your other blood chemistries are normal and your physician mm-hmm. that's counseling you says it's okay, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't harp on those cholesterol numbers too much. But obviously, follow the, you know, your advice of your physician. But I'd be very leery of any cholesterol medication. I mean, obviously, let your doctor know, and I'm sure they know, that you know, you're, a, you're a bodybuilder and you're a pro athlete. So you got to be careful. Yeah. Remember, I'm a big advocate of the least amount of medication that gets the job done. Um, Dr. Yeah, uh, um, Susan, you want to chime in? Sure. With our cholesterol, people think it's a bad thing, but we use cholesterol to make our hormones. We use cholesterol to make vitamin D. It's the mm-hmm. oxidized cholesterol that becomes the bad. And there is a particle size test you can get done. Basically, you can have kind of the small, sticky cholesterol, or you can have the large, buoyant cholesterol. And until you run that particular test, you don't know whether it's going to be the small sticky that can kind of clog those arteries there. It's not done on a regular basis because it tends to be a more expensive test to run and not necessarily covered by insurance, but it is something you can request and ask your doctor Absolutely. to say, can I run the particle size test? Yeah. And remember, cholesterol is also a shuttle system for carotenoids to bring these carotenoids to the brain and the eye. So things like lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin, you know, get on the cholesterol as a shuttle system. So by the same token, we mm-hmm. never want to lower the cholesterol too much. So it's it's a, it's a fine line that we, it's a balancing act. You got to be in that level that's, you know, beneficial. Yeah. Well, um, that's all awesome input, particularly um, that the particle size testing, which I'd, I'd come across that, wasn't familiar 
it, as far as how well that's kind of recognized as a <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, would into, that. But I, I would get that. There's I, one called Spectracell. Yeah, sure. Spectracell. Okay. Go- Google that. And they can run SpectraCell. Yeah. It also looks for nutritional deficiencies. But look at SpectraCell, okay. and you can see any area, anybody in your area, in the Bradenton area, that's running that. And you can, you know, give them a call and set up an appointment. And the SpectraCell, okay. you know, it, it's really a, a great test, and it looks at it looks at everything. It takes it to that next yeah. level uh, of kind of for people that are into nutritional intervention, more holistic, complementary uh, type of medicine. And a lot of doctors are running those tests now. Mm-hmm. Well, I, be, before we get off here, I, 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 it's kind of, I experiment. I mean, I, I've always been self coach as a bodybuilder. I've done now six shows. I'll be going on seven and then I guess eight if I qualify for the world championship in Spain. So I got, it's just going to keep on moving, you know, and I've, so I, I experiment. I look at blood work. I look at how my food, it's just the nature of bodybuilding. It's a, it's a really, it's very complex. There's so many moving parts and, and, you would think that, oh, chicken breast, ribeye steak or whatever, it's just protein, right? Or undenatured, pro- undenatured whey. Well, the, like you said with the amino acid profile, the effect that those metabolically have in the body can be dramatically different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the macro, it's all protein, right? And there's fats and whatnot. But end of the day, there's so many smaller little offshoots, this and that, that, that occur. So I... I knew with the higher cholesterol in the diet that I'd probably impact my, you know, numbers. Right. But I was also looking to elevate that cholesterol to support my, you know, testosterone production. You know, I don't, I'm 32. I don't have a need. I haven't even talked to like a TRT doc or anything. I don't, I, I'm a healthy guy. I wa- I'm walking moose right now. My dog, <laughs> bull terrier. Uh, so if I'm winded, that's, that's what's happened there. <laughs> yeah, but, um, you're in amazing shape, Bryce. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be concerned. <laughs> just, just talk with your physician carefully right. about those blood yeah. tests and keep us posted. Hey, you know what? Shoot me an email yeah. later. I want to send you a little package, a complimentary package of some stuff I got for you oh. to try. Oh, we'll do. Wonderful. All right, Bryce. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the call. Good luck. Keep, keep us posted. Thanks, Doc. And right. Thanks, Doc. Bye-bye. You're welcome. All right, let's see. We got a lot of people on hold. We're going to get to everybody, I promise. Let's go to Sarasota. Cerise in Sarasota, thanks for holding and good morning. Oh, good morning, Dr. Lang and Dr. Summerton. Uh, love your show. I always try to listen to it. And I, it, you just impart such wisdom and, and uh, forefront knowledge. Um, I keep coming across on the internet these messages from different sources that I get. Uh, and I keep hearing about two things melatonin and they go some say oh don't take it don't take too much some say oh you can never take too much it's wonderful some say it's better to take the suppository if you want to sleep at night uh it, it in, instead of the cap instead of the capsules uh, i don't have any trouble sleeping but they keep uh, harping on how many other uh uh advantages uh, for taking melatonin for your body. And then the other one I keep hearing about is methylene blue. And I wanted to know, you know, I, I have a, a reluctance to take in too much of anything, but they keep saying, oh, you can never take too much melatonin. I've heard two different sources say that and other sources say, oh, no, 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 don't ever do that. So I wanted to know what what your opinion of, of either of those things are. Yeah. So I'm going to chime in first and let Dr. Summerton chime in also. She's somewhat an expert in melatonin in the eyes. I mean, we've actually used it for some eye conditions too. But I'll tell you my personal opinion about melatonin. I mean, every time, every time I've taken melatonin, you know, sometimes I just don't sleep well, okay? I, I used to be the biggest sleep-deprived person you'd ever know. I mean, I'd sleep maybe an hour to two at night, and that's it. So I've tried things, and now my lifestyle adjustments, you know, I get off the computer much earlier in the night, so I don't have all that blue light exposure that, that causes your pineal gland to stop secreting natural melatonin. So that's been helping me dramatically. So every time I've taken melatonin, I get some wackadoodle dreams, let me tell you. I don't know what it is in the melatonin, but I have some really bizarre dreams. I mean, they're just funky. So I don't take melatonin anymore because of that. Now, some people swear by it. Some doctors promote it. Um, But uh, Dr. Summerton, let's chime in a little bit on your thoughts of those two. Well, I'm big on naturally on a daily basis. We do make our melatonin, 
but that affects with blue light. So you make the melatonin and you recycle it. So the big thing is at night, no blue light a couple hours before you go to bed, because if you are looking at blue light, it stops your body from releasing that melatonin. And melatonin is not just for sleeping. It's a powerful antioxidant. It's been shown to even attack tumors in our body while we're sleeping. So you want to reduce it, I'm sorry, make it naturally. And then when you get up in the morning, that's actually when blue light is good for you. You get outside, get that sunrise, sunshine in your eyes, and that natural, the red light and the blue light combined there helps prompt you recycling your own natural melatonin. Now, there are cases where I like using it because there's some evidence of a condition called central serous in the eye. It's kind of a little blister that people develop. And we do use it when our patients have that condition because really it's the only treatment we know of to help patients bring their vision back faster. So we do prescribe it sometimes, but in general, I prefer, you know, watch the blue light. Blue light's good in the morning. Blue light is bad in the evening. Right, right. Well, I, I don't, I make it a habit not to uh, go near my computer or any of that uh, in the evening because I know what it does. It interrupts my sleep. But as I said, I don't need any help for sleep. I have no trouble sleeping. But what this one uh, chiropractic physician said was that if you take the capsules, you won't sleep. It, he said initially it'll put you to sleep, but he said you won't be able to sleep that well. But he said if you take the suppository form, he said you'll, you'll and he explained how the absorption is different, blah, blah. And uh, that you would sleep well, but but as, that's not the reason I would take it. It just would be more for uh, an, an adjunct to other things to. You know, I would be, drink a glass, a big glass of tart cherry juice as long as you're not diabetic. You know, and a couple yeah. hours before bed, tart cherry juice is high in natural precursors for melatonin. Also, it's a natural anti-inflammatory as well. Um, okay. And I do that, and I use tart cherry juice oftentimes in my uh, for post recovery. Uh, we use it with that whey protein. I'll alternate, use pomegranate juice one time, tart cherry juice the other time. And these are kind of natural ways. These gods have put these fruits on the, on the, on the planet. So these are natural ways of helping promote uh, a healthy melatonin and lower inflammation as well. As far as the methylene blue, I'm not an expert in this arena at all. Maybe Dr. Somerton knows more about methylene blue than I do. Yeah, I like your approach to doing to getting the melatonin from a natural for, uh, source rather than uh, taking something you know made, right. pre-made. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm not a big expert on methylene blue either. I do know there are some studies that say it's a good thing, and there are some studies that say it's a bad thing. It's not a natural thing. Right. So, but it is used in a lot of these biohackers. I know I kind of learned from it from Chris Masterjohn has a full um, like presentation on it. And I know that with methylene blue, light therapy helps too. So you can, it's kind of a antimicrobial, a disinfectant. They've used it for tumors. Um, they've used it to support uh, mitochondria to try, you know, improve improve your energy and metabolism. But it's finding the light exposure. I, I think a lot of the evidence is if you are kind of indoors all day, you're not going to get the full benefit of it. Right. You do have to be outdoors to reap those benefits. Thank you, mm-hmm. Susan. We're going to have to take another call real quick. Cerise, thanks for okay. the call. Have a thank good you, one. Thank you. And, and we're uh, going to early happy birthday to you. Take thank care. you. We're going to take Jim really quick. Jim, welcome to the program. Thanks for holding for the last 15 minutes. Talk quickly. Oh, good morning. It should be really quick. I went to the eye doctor yesterday, and he told me I had the beginnings of glaucoma in my right eye. Uh, bottom right corner of my vision uh, is starting to, I'm starting to miss a little white signal right. in the test. And uh, they, give me, they prescribe some eye drops to take and uh, just once a night. So it's going to make my eye red. I just wonder, is there any any uh, natural way of... Yep. Uh, All right, let me, let me chime in because we only got a few seconds. I would eat a lot of good fish, fatty fish. I would take something like Fortify Super Omega twice a day. All right? We're coming out with a natural approach for that, but I would follow his directions. Take the drops at bedtime right now and follow him. Cardiovascular exercise, weight management. All right? With that, we're out of time. Uh, 
Uh, Susan, say goodbye. We got three seconds. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for listening. All right. See you. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.